Yeah. We just love Russian air defense. Their aircraft is down, possibly by friendly fire in Donetsk area. Russian air defense is much better than American. Nobody can kill Russian planes like Russian air defense. And attacks on Russian infrastructure are continuing. Fuel storage at a grain terminal is on fire in Rostov. We don't see this every day. Brace yourself for a large explosion of a Russian tank. Something just hit Kursk in Russia. There's the sound of an engine, then a large blast. Kursk is, by the way, deep in Russian territory. Video from Ukrainian Special Operation Forces 8th Regiment showing FPV and brimstone strikes on two Russian Brem and a BMP. Looks like they were trying to recover an abandoned Ukrainian tank. I think it's a Leopard 2 and were stopped. A Russian ship with sanctioned goods that were supposed to be delivered to the United States was detained in Germany. The cargo ship Atlantic Navigator 2, traveling from St. Petersburg under the flag of the Marshall Islands to the United States, was forced to call at the German port of Rostock due to damage to the propeller. During the inspection, customs inspectors found goods on board that were under EU sanctions and prohibited the ship from continuing its journey. Another train derailed in Russia earlier this week. Of course, there is a version about partisans, but the point here is most likely something else. A few days earlier, on March 18th, 20 freight train cars left the Trans-Siberian Railway. There was a derailment in January 2023 in the Samara region. In November before that in Ryazan, and this is all less than in the last six months. In none of these cases were the partisans responsible. Worn out trains with carriages and the condition of the rails are the real culprits of accidents. Sanctions imposed in 2022 and other long-standing problems are affecting the accident rate. From Russia in April-May 2022, Western bearing manufacturers and other industrial manufacturers. Russia cannot produce many things, and if it does, the quality is always terrible. On average, Russian parts and engines last three times less than Western ones. This is a very gentle rounding because things get even worse. Poor maintenance by drunken Ivans quickly leads any equipment to a terrible state. They lay the rails in exactly the same way. Russia has never pursued quality, Many train carts are in terrible condition. If they were made in Russia, then the quality of the metals is terrible. And now it has fallen even further. Since the production of military equipment is a priority, and the few resources that are available are used for this, especially rare, illegally obtained spare parts. But in general, there is no replacement for worn parts in the required quantity. Only Russian or Chinese analogs, which last less time, and at the same time, Russian railways are forced to extend the service number of such incidents will only increase. Putin about the Crocus City Hall attack, March 25th, it was radical Islamists. April 4th, it wasn't radical Islamists. Was it even the same Putin? We know that the attack was made by the hands of radical Islamists. Russia cannot be an object of terrorist attacks from the side of Islamic fundamentalists. Russian propagandist Sladkov proudly presents Solidar over a year after its liberation. The city is so liberated now that you can't go outside for a pee without risking getting attacked by FPV, he says. The moment of the Russian attack on Kharkiv. Horrible. Last night, Russia attacked Kharkiv multiple times with kamikaze drones. The drones landed in a residential area, starting a fire and causing structural destruction of one of the buildings. 
Then Russia hit the same area again. It killed three rescuers already working on site of the prior hit and wounded a paramedic. So far, there are four killed and at least 11 wounded. A new Ukrainian line of defense in the Zaporizhia region, seen through the eyes of a Russian reconnaissance drone. An anti-tank ditch and dragon's teeth are visible. Also, a large crater in front of the dragon's teeth can be seen, presumably a KAB-guided bomb intended to destroy it. Where should the sanitary zone end? Somewhere near the Carpathian Mountains. Oh, come on, the Atlantic Ocean. Why do we need the Atlantics? You don't, I do. Russian propagandists discuss the borders of denazification. They are serious, by the way. And there was heavy fighting in Iran last night. As day breaks, heavy fighting between members of the Sunni militant group, Jaish al adil and Iranian security forces with support from the IRGC, appears to still be ongoing in the Sistan and Baluchistan province of southeastern Iran. Earlier, another explosion was seen at the IRGC arms depot near the town of Rask, which was claimed to have been captured by militants, as well as reports now that Miltons have managed to capture the IRGC naval headquarters in the coastal city of Chabahar. Iranian state media is now reporting that at least five members of the Jaish al adil militant group and five Iranian security forces personnel have been killed so far during heavy fighting in the southeast of the country. Significant activity by helicopters and drones of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, has been noted over the Sistan and Baluchistan province of southeastern Iran as fighting continues. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.